the feeling of falling when half asleep is called a hypnic jerk. It sounds like an insult, but I'm sure we've all experienced being startled awake because of the feeling of falling. Scientifically, there is still no explanation for why we get hypnic jerks. However, anxiety, caffeine and physical activity close to bedtime make a hypnic jerk more likely. They are also more frequent in younger people. Superman didn't always fly. The original comic book Superman could leap tall buildings in a single bound. But then he had to come right back down to Earth because he didn't fly. It wasn't until the 1940s, when animators for a new animated series decided it would be too difficult to routinely draw him bending his knees, that it was decided that Superman could take off into the air. Readers got to see smooth animation, and a superhero gained a new power. The famed Typhoid Mary infected more than 50 people by cooking for them. Typhoid Mary was a real historical person who became notorious in the early 1900s. She was an Irish woman named Mary Mallon who immigrated to the United States in the 1880s. Though she had no symptoms of typhoid fever, she carried the bacteria in her blood and could pass it on to other people. Because no doctor could convince her that this was true and she didn't feel sick, she insisted on working as a cook. During her career, she infected at least 51 people, three of whom died, before she was isolated in enforced quarantine for the last decades of her life. Napoleon was once attacked by thousands of rabbits. Napoleon Bonaparte was once one of the most powerful men in Europe, but he suffered an ignominious defeat at the hands, or paws, of rabbits. After a military victory, Napoleon's chief of staff organized a rabbit hunt to celebrate. Thousands of rabbits were brought in to be set loose, but instead of hopping away when the cages were opened, they turned to attack, swarming the partygoers. After trying and failing to shoo them away, the great emperor Napoleon ran for the safety of his carriage. There's an entire town under a rock. If you've ever been accused of living under a rock, you'll feel right at home in Sentinel de las Bodegas in Spain. Many of this tiny town's 3,000 residents live and work and play in a gorge beneath a huge rocky outcropping, where homes are built right into the rock. It provides so much shelter that historians think this area has been occupied by human settlements since the Stone Age. A 70-year-old woman once completed seven marathons in seven days, across all seven continents. Chow Smith was always an avid runner, and, in 2017, she decided that for her 70th birthday, she would complete seven marathons in one week across all of the continents. Traveling made it challenging, for example, Smith made the race in Egypt just minutes before the start because her plane to Cairo was delayed. But despite the obstacles, she completed her goal. America's first bank robber deposited the money back into the same bank. At the Bank of Philadelphia on August 1, 1798, a sum of $162,821 was stolen from the vault. There was no sign of forced entry, so it was thought to be an inside job. Patrick Lyon was imprisoned as the prime suspect, as he had been the carpenter that worked on the vault doors. But then, they realized a man named Isaac Davis had been depositing large sums of money into the Bank of Philadelphia. It turned out, he was one of the robbers involved. In 1799, Lyon was freed, and Davis only ended up repaying the money without serving a day in jail. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.